The PMP is king when it comes on to devaluation and also inflation. The PMP is the reason why Jamaica is poor and statistics do not lie. Here's why. After Manley's madness in the 70s, the PMP inherit and reinflation rate from Siaga of 14.33% in 1989 election and increase it by 77% by 1992. Madness while other countries of the world basically are reap the benefit of a good global economy. We basically under high inflation and high interest rate. Okay, then reduce it to 9% by 1998 and by 2007. The fuck of them increase it to over 23% again. The JLP won in 2007 and despite of the world global crisis, financial crisis, yes, the JLP brought down the inflation rate to 7%. You can imagine in a world global economic crisis, everything basically liquidated and melted down literally. You see, the PMP could have never ever angled this financial crisis and come out like this, never. Yet they took office in 2011 and managed to keep the inflation rate steady but when you check it out as it related to inflation rate in 2019 it was actually 3.91 percent one of the lowest inflation rate jamaica has ever recorded until covid and we know how impactful that was as it related to how it affected the world economy. Also the war in Ukraine that the US basically put a lot of sanction and that basically black up a lot of supply chain for Jamaica does cause inflation to rise to 6.6%. percent Look a bit above targeted but on an average. So the average inflation rate for the PMP between 1989 to 2023 is actually 16%. While for the JLP is actually like 6% when they do the maths. So who basically damaged Jamaica the economy? Actually, it's the damn PMP, literally. And these are the statistic chart. And these are the sources. I know a lot of persons will gonna come at me. So eat an art out.